Hi everyone, I was recently asked the question on how to do a running total of something on a second page. Um, so let's say you were buying a bunch of things or doing a bunch of things on a repair or something like that. So let's uh, let's go and delete this. This is on Nintex New Responsive Forms for Office 365. And so we've got a repeating section that we're going to say um, a text short and we're going to put a currency in here. We're going to say... Um, I don't know, um, repair, repairs, um, and cost. And so, and we're going to put two pages here, we're going to page one, um, estimate, and then you might say, uh, total or something like that. Now what we want to do is on the total page, we actually want to have a label that just gives me a total summary of what it's going to cost or whatever it might be. So we're going to have to put a variable in there. So first we need to figure out, well, um, I'm going to have some repairs done and I have the cost and so I need those as a line item so I can have some bullet points or something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a text short in here just below and you wonder why I'm going to put that there. So it's going to be um, string hidden. So I'm going to set that to visible no because we're not going to be coming to preview, um, you can't actually see it anymore. So why are we doing that? Well, if I come to here, I'm going to say rules, add new rule, I'm going to say repeating section one, set hidden value. So we're setting a hidden value. So if the costs are filled and the repairs is filled, then the string hidden value is, uh, let's have a look, um, repairs, uh, repairs, not the collection, I want repairs, there we go, and I also want something like um, quotation symbol, let's do something like this, dollar sign plus cost, something, something like that I guess. Um, now what's happened here is it's saying well you can't use that because that's a number, so then we're going to go uh, convert to string. And we bring that up there and close it off. And then we need to close our parentheses for that um, um, little formatting thing there. Okay, so we've got a current row, repairs, and the dollar sign and how much it's going to cost. Okay, and if we don't fill anything out, we don't want anything hidden, anything, any value set. So we're going to go ahead and create that rule. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just turn this uh, visible uh, to yes. So we can see what, how it's working. So I'm going to say uh, fixed the sink, and that cost uh, $3. So he fixed the drink sink for $300, and then he's going to fix something else. Uh, fixed the toilet, um, $500. Um, so you can see here they've got the running total coming through here, and at the other page, what is it like a summary of the invoice or something like that. So we're going to visible as no. So, so far it's pretty straightforward. Now, what do we want to do now? Well, we've got our hidden uh, our, um, hidden value, and if we come to here, we've got a label here. So then we might say um, total um, summary of works. I'm going to bold that, I'll bold it later. And we come in here and go insert, add a variable, and what we need to do is, let me think. What we're going to do is we're going to say, um, what was our hidden field called? Uh, string hidden collection and we're going to convert that to a string because that that's a collection right now and what we're going to do is have a look at how it looks um, summary create insert so we've got a preview and we're going to say fixed the sink $50 cheap one today uh, fixed the down pipe that'll do fix the down pipe $4,000, well done. And so now you can see here, it's got a summary of works and it's got, well, I fixed the sink for 50 and I fixed the down pipe for 4,000. And what you'll notice is there, there's a comma there. And what that's doing is it's, um, it's, it's, a, it's an object converted to a string. So it's, it's delimiter or it's separated, it's just a comma. So what we could then do is come to our variable and say, well, now that it's a string, we could just do a replace. Now we won't do a, um, I mean, you could do, uh, I did a previous video on how you can use replace for things like regex, but really sometimes it's just easier 
not to use regex. So what I'm doing here is, so the replace function, so if you're not familiar, replace function, it's got three inputs. So the text source, which is our variable, the regular expression, which it can be just a string if you're looking for it, and the replacement. So what we could do is we could say something like, well, here's my, my string, and my input is quotation marks, comma, because it's um, like a, a string input, and the replacement. Now, this is, um, I would say, not actually supported, but it, um, so don't ring support and ask them why it doesn't work anymore, but this is something you could do. This is something you could do because the HTML doesn't get encoded in the variable. So uh, we are looking at bringing HTML support to this control soon. So for too long, it may actually be supported. So now we've got the BR tag, which is um, like a carriage return or a enter on the keyboard. So it creates a new line. So we're going to go ahead and press update. We'll go to preview. And so we came back and we fixed the sink and that was $4,000, big sink. And uh, fixed the down pipe, like a type. And that cost $4,000. Okay, so we come to the, the running total. Now we actually have a list of, we fixed the sink for 4,000, fixed the down pipe 4,000 and so on and so forth. So now it looks a bit better and so you could actually probably bold that as well. So you can come through to here and you go to your total, the summary of works, we can just select that and bold and then preview. So again, fixed the sync and I don't know, whatever you want to charge for it and down pipe is something like that. And now you've got here the summary of the works and fix the sink and fix the down pipe and so on and so forth. And then you could actually probably then start doing something more advanced, which is um, a calculation of the summary of the total. So let's say, um, where should we calculate that? Let's just do another variable. Because, I mean, we could, we could put it in here. Um, well, there's two ways. So, so what you could do here is you could do um, let's leave it there. I won't overcomplicate it. Let's say um, rand total. And what we're going to do is a, let's keep it as text. And we're going to go summary of cost of the collection. So we're going to sum all of that array. So all of the cost together. So that's pretty simple. Um, and it's actually saying, well, it's, it's not actually text. And what you want to do is um, you might want to do convert to string. There's a few different ways you could do this really. Um, there's plenty of different things, ways to do this. So you could say, I'm going to put a dollar sign there and then plus, and that should be good to go. So now we've got our variable and then we need to go back to our label and come to here and we come down here and then you could do something like total and insert your variable and say grand total through there. So now when we come through to fixed x for 4999 and fixed y for 3999 and you come to your total, you can now see fixed x for uh, 5000, fixed y for 3000 and it's actually put a total there as well. So I think I might actually bold that so that it make it, make it, make it stand out a little bit better. So you come through to here and you could bold that section there and you can come through to preview and just something silly here for the moment can i get the idea i think uh, numbers only whoops letters only there please and so now it's starting to look like here's my summary of works this is the work that i did this is the total so on and so forth so it's actually looking really nice and if you really wanted to if you wanted to get really smart with this you could actually um, copy this uh, not the summary the grand total and start concatenating your uh, variables. So you could do something like, um, as I said, the, the HTML is not supported, um, but it does work. So you could do a, a paragraph tag around this, and you could do a, a closing P tag around this. Uh, let's see, P there, Oops, what have I done? There, and then you've got the, um, which one is another paragraph and you're going to go plus p tag is unexpected what have i done and we're going to put a plus so the plus there would make it look a bit nicer 
Okay, so now what we're doing is actually concatenating our two calculations together. So um, we're formatting our repeating um, our hidden string into a nice little like a bulleted list. And in fact, you could make this a bulleted list if you wanted to. Um, probably could we? Not in this video. And then at the bottom, we could put put the total here as well. So and we should, if we're doing this properly, we should actually um, close off our p tag as well. So we'll go quotation marks. Uh, slash p actually close that there okay update so then we could actually be bold and get rid of our grand total I think is that right grand total yes we can delete that one then we come to preview uh, fixed x four nine 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 fixed y uh, twenty three dollars really cheap and now we can see here that um, this is actually one variable, not two. So if we come back to here, and we can get rid of, rid, of, rid, of, rid of grand total. And what we need is that total text, so we'll get rid of that. And uh, there we go, so that's all cleared now. Then we want to go back to our variables, or our single variable now, and what we might want to do is say something like, um, what you could probably do is put the total in here, and then you could put some bold tags around this and update and preview fixed x at 2, 3, 3 and fixed y at 199 and there you go so now your summary of the works fixed x, fixed y and you've got, got your total now you're probably thinking why have you got that in there couldn't we get even smarter and start moving that as, there in there as well absolutely why not let's do that as well so we could just cut that out as well. Um, we could bring that out. There we go. And go to your variables, edit. And then you could probably go something like summary of works. And you could bold that. And then bold that. And then put a BR tag in there. And then we have got one variable that goes and does all our calculations. Fixed X. 299, oops, fixed y, uh, let's make that 499, and there we go, so now we've got one variable doing all this sort of calculation, and you could format that with any H HTML you wanted, but it kind of gives you an idea of what the, um, what the, what the thing was, and what the price was, and so with that hidden uh, control that you've got, you could really concatenate and build whatever you wanted to. Um, as I mentioned, you could have an unordered list or a, um, really as much as you want. So I hope you find that helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments. Cheers.